People love engines and we want to cover as many of them as we can. Here's a VW convert conversion and we're going to find out a little more about this plus something yet to come. In this case mounted on the front of a Minimax airplane but it can go on a lot of airplanes. I'm Dan Johnson talking, talking to Steve Howard here and you're going to tell me some stuff about this engine that I don't know which won't be hard because I don't know much. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, first of all, uh, give me the basics of how you arrive at an engine like this, where the elements come from, what we're really talking about here, and okay. what the advantages of this is. Well, uh, this is our beginning VW Aero engine package, which uh, starts with a brand new VW case, and uh, we build that up brand new from end to end. Uh, we offer it as a complete, complete engine assemblies, as well as all of the accessories to go on the engine, such as carb, intake, exhaust, etc. You mentioned that the carburetor up here, which looks vaguely familiar to me. Why does it look <laughs> vaguely familiar to me? It looks really familiar because this is a 40 millimeter Harley Davidson CV carburetor. Uh, it had, doesn't have any of the icing tendencies that your normal Venturi carburetors have, uh, which makes it a really nice conversion for an aero carburetor. And we're also seeing a considerable torque gain out of this carburetor by using it on these aero VW conversions. Now, you, when we talked earlier, I asked you about horsepower, and you said, well, you prefer to talk torque versus horsepower. Absolutely. Give me, give me the short story on that. Well, uh, the situation is there's a lot of guys that'll tell you about horsepower, and uh, they'll tell you their Volkswagens have 65 horsepower, but, you know, you can't put a 72-inch prop on a Volkswagen and swing it like you can an A65. It's all about torque. And uh, we've got proprietary camshafts out on the market now that make more torque. Uh, this engine right here, right here is rated at 75 to 80 pounds of torque. Which means it's appropriate for what kind of airplane? Obviously, this little single place here, is it that is the market you're after? absolutely appropriate for the light aircraft market, for the single place aircraft market, and uh, aircraft weighing under 700 pounds flying weight. These are great little conversions for that. Okay, great. Um, so. The parts that come from that are that are the Volkswagen brand. Where do you obtain those parts? Uh, the Volkswagen brand parts. We've got several different retail retailers that we go through to obtain those parts. Okay. And what are they? What market are they serving? Those people. Uh, they generally serve the automotive aftermarket of VW, uh, which makes parts availability very, very easily, yeah, easy and easy to get a hold of. Repair of, of old VWs or new VWs or all? Uh, the original 1600 style air cooled VWs. Okay, right. That, that's a, I knew that number, and that's a popular uh, uh, use for these kind of airplanes. Now, sure. Other people are doing um, uh, VW conversions. How are you different? Well, we have a. 40 millimeter CV Harley Davidson carburetor, right. which we found great for aero conversion use. We have a 5052 sheet metal intake manifold that we build in house. You build the intake manifold yourself? Yes, sir. That okay. is a Lone Star Light Sport product available from us. And uh, that allows you to use the 40 millimeter carburetor top mount or if you come in and want to buy the intake setup, you can also do bottom mount or any mounting position oh. you want with this carburetor. Ah. Uh, so that makes it easy to ease of fabrication because you've got something to go to without all the fab work. And uh, we also offer an exhaust kit. You make the exhaust? Yes, sir. We make okay. the exhaust kit in-house as well. This is our two-into-one torquer exhaust, uh, which is proven to put out between five to eight foot-pounds more torque really? than an open VW exhaust. Well, based on it having 75, that's a pretty considerable per, uh, percentage. Yes, sir. It's a very considerable percentage. And uh, that's where we get into our camshaft technology. Uh, we've been dealing with some camshaft grinds that work with this exhaust extremely well, and we're extremely happy with the numbers that we're getting out of Excellent. it. Excellent. About propping the engine, do you give advice about it? Do you have specifics in mind? Because props and engines are a very tight relationship. Well, absolutely, and I'm lucky enough to have a really good relationship with a really good propeller guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we endorse uh, Frank Johnson over at Performance Propellers, and uh, he builds our props for our needs, engine specific to what we're building and aircraft specific to what we're building, and uh, build some of the most beautiful props on the planet. It's a handsome looking thing mm -hmm. with lots of laminates there, yes, I see. Yes, it so. is, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's a beautiful piece. So talk to me a little bit, Steve, about uh, electrical componentry on this particular engine. Okay. On this particular aircraft, I'm running a single ignition. Uh, it's a, uh, built by a company called Protronics, which builds a multi-spark ignition system. Uh, the multi-spark gives this excellent startup capabilities, and uh, it also gives it excellent running capabilities, and volumetric efficiency goes up as well when you have the multi-spark set up. Uh, you also get just a little bit more fuel economy out of it. It just makes it a whole lot smoother running of an engine. How, how is the starting of the engine? Uh, this one is electric start. Uh, we're running the Great Plains starter and the Great Plains uh, dial accessory, accessory case on the back of the engine. Okay. And uh, that's one thing we go to Great Plains for. 
because uh, their starter accessories and that are good, are really good stuff, and we really like using their product on that. Okay, great. Uh, availability of the engine, if I said, you know, I've, I've been looking for something like this, you convinced me with what you've said, uh, how soon can you deliver an engine like this? Well, what we like to do is sit down and customize our engines to our customer's need, discuss it with the customer, and get an outline going on what their engine needs are. And then uh, we take a deposit on parts to get the parts going on the engine, and then you're looking at about a three-week turnaround time to have a complete engine to your doorstep. But what kinds of questions, I don't need all of them, but give me a couple examples of questions you would ask them to find out what engine you should supply um, to him. Weight of aircraft, speed of aircraft, and the duty of the aircraft. What are you going to be using this aircraft for? Uh, over a certain speed of aircraft, the gyroscopic loads on the propeller become a point, become to a point that you start cracking the front of these cases once you get over 100 miles an hour. I see. Uh, so we go to a different bearing in these when we get over it to the faster aircraft, and that's an option that we offer is to bore the case and put a different bearing with twice the thrust area than the front bearing and a standard VW. That's quite a bit of customization you do to an engine then. Absolutely. We do anything you could possibly imagine. <laughs> All right, very <laughs> good. Engine together. Well, you got a new project in the works. Why don't we move over here a little yes, bit, we Steve, do. and I want you to tell me about a, a new thing that you're hoping to introduce sometime later this year. We'll just put it that way for now. It's got similarities to it, but it's also got differences to it. Mainly, yes, there's not enough jugs on this thing. Absolutely. That's uh, one thing that's missing. Uh, we brought it here in cutaway form so that we could show customers uh, what kind of components we use. We use the finest components, American-made components, that you can possibly get for these engines. And uh, we have the majority of them manufactured in California and shipped out to us. Okay. And uh, they go through a very thorough inspection process before they go, uh, go into any of our engines. All right. Uh, and so what's going to be the mission and uh, and describe the engine that you're assembling here. Okay. You've deliberately not got a complete engine here, I get that, but sure. tell me what it's going to be when it's complete. Sure. What we have here is based on the popular half BW engine conversions that a lot of people are doing today. It's if we've done our own take on it, the limiting factor in half BW engines has been cylinders and cylinder heads for a long, long time. So uh, we took the cylinders and heads from an extremely popular American motorcycle company and uh, we now install those on the half VW engine, which gives it 30% more flow than the highest flowing VW head on the market. Airflow, okay. It has 30% okay, more airflow. cooling capacity then. And cooling capacity, it has over 130% more cooling area on the cylinders than on a factory VW yeah, cylinder. Yeah, those are some, those are some <laughs> deep veins on there. Yes, right. sir, it is quite the difference. What that allows us to do is bump this engine up to about nine and a half to one compression and achieve longevity while doing that. Ah, really? And uh, what you get out of that is a 76, 76 cubic inch engine with a 75 horsepower package that weighs in at about 30 pounds lighter than the Rotex 912. And is that the market that this engine will be uh, addressing is the people that have 912s and want something this, different or whatever? This will be the market Look at this air this engine right here complete weight with starter is around 126 pounds which also puts this engine in the class of the Rotax 582 uh -huh. so uh, we're going to be offering weight wise you meant by yes that? weight wise okay. it'll be right in the same class as the 582 and power wise we're going to be putting out the exact same power as a two stroke with four stroke reliability with four stroke fuel burn and a lightweight package so I want you to compare this to the Rotax 912 for me okay. in, in weight and power and, and perhaps price well, as of right now, we're coming in at right at over 30 pounds less than the Rotax 912. Pretty significant. Yes, sir. And over $15,000 less than a 912. Very significant. Yes, sir. And uh, we don't think that there's any compromise on reliability or longevity of the engine to go to that. Uh, we're also going to be offering this in a four-cylinder version as well as in a redrive version coming next year. Okay, well that's, that's we, pretty uh, impressive. When do you think this market, this will be ready for market next year, uh, is that what you mean? Uh, we're going to have these on the public market as of next year. We're doing beta testing on this engine right now. Oh, okay. And we're going to have this engine flying on a couple of different aircraft at Oshkosh later this year. All right, well that's pretty quick. That's only a few months away, you know. I've been reminded of that several times. <laughs> I'm sure you have. <laughs> so uh, you were talking about an economy version now for those people that may, maybe don't need all of what sure. a 912 equivalent would produce. So. What sure, you and, uh, and also for the guy that's on the economy and on a budget and wants to fly cheap. Uh, you know, we offer a kit. Uh, you know, this engine's base price is around 6500 Depending on your scrounging abilities, we can work with you, and we can get you in one of these engines around 50 to 55 horsepower, around 105 pounds. And these start at around $2,500 if you've got real good scrounging abilities. Is that right? But, uh, the parts for that for the Harley Sports are readily available. Uh, 
We're really excited about this. It features a hemispherical combustion chamber, tons and tons of cooling, angle valve. So there's the hemispherical combustion chamber. This is a angle valve set up with a hemispherical combustion chamber. Okay. And it's also already set up from Harley Factory for dual spark plug heads. Ah, okay. So uh, we can run the dual ignition ah, system that we want without having to drill the head or having, having to worry about any extra machine work to do so. Excellent. Okay, so you're talking later this year, you're going to have, in fact, in a few months, you're expecting to be uh, bolting this on an airplane and, and starting to, you're in beta test now, meaning without an airplane, I'm guessing. Yes, sir. And then you're going to go to airplane testing. Yes, sir. We plan on being having this bolted on within two weeks on an aircraft and be flying it and demonstrating it at Oshkosh this year. <laughs> All right. Very good. Well, I've asked you about as many questions as I'm confident <laughs> to ask you on engines. Uh, where do we find you on the web so that we can get some more information? Eight. Maybe people want to start talking no? to you about an engine. You can come find us at flytheread.com. Flytheread.com. You can get all the information you want. You can place orders. You can talk customization. Great stuff. Absolutely. And you're always free to call us. Uh, we're available 8 to 5, Monday through Friday at area code 254-498-0028. And where is that located? In Waco, Texas. Waco, Texas. All yes, right. Sir. Very good. You can find more about all kinds of <laughs> affordable aviation, engines, airplanes, and much more at bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Steve Howard and myself here at Sun and Fun 2018.